Howdy everybody out there in YouTube land. This is amateur artist Mark D. Chandler coming at you once again from man land. Man, I got the camera way back there so y'all can see me in all my prettiness. That's right. Y'all know who I am. And today, I thought I'd get out here and do a little bit of camp cooking. Just so I can educate some folks out there in YouTube. Yeah, like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, we got us a fire here going. Gonna let it burn down to some coals. And for some reason, the age-old annex about smoke following beauty. Well, it just ran away from me. Alright, while we're waiting on this here fire to burn down to some coals that we can use for our camping scenario here, I decided to take this time and opportunity. Where is it? It's right here behind me. I got a package in the mail. That's right. This right here surprised me. This right here come all the way from over there from Spain and France. Because the person's name here goes by the name of uh, uh, Mosiska uh, Ito Escargot. Mosiska Ito Escargot. Mosiska Ito. Well, that's Spanish for little fly. And Escargot, French for snail. Snail? That's not escargot, that's escargo. Why they put a T on the end of it? Mosquito? Mosquito escargo. There we go. <laughs> Mosquito escargo. Mosquito escargo. I know. Skeeter Snail. Of course. It's Skeeter Snail's package. It has arrived, brother. <laughs> Y'all notice the professional back here in the background. He keeps adding wood to the fire and we're trying to get coals. Well, it's already black. It's already black? Yeah. Oh, Lord. We're going to do an unboxing. First, we got to cook. What I got right here is a cookie drying rack. A cookie drying rack. That's right, old ranger cookie. You lay them out, throw some cookies on top of them, and you can dry the cookies out. Actually, cool them off. Anyway, <laughs> what I decided to do, I carry this in my backpack as a piece of gear so I can do some grilling. And I'm going to try this out for the very first time. Right. This is one of those pieces of the kit that has not been done by myself personally. And I got a feeling that when it hits the heat, this metal is going to do all this warping deal. So we're going to put it right there on top of the coals and get ready for some action. Now what we have here is just some simple Van Camp pork and beans. Nothing special. These are not really seasoned in any way. But well, we're just going to do a little simple cooking video so I can have a reason. And we're going to use the uh, canteen cup. And all we got to do with these beans right here is just heat them and eat them. Going to set it right there just like that. Get the rest out get all them good beans in there you know what I'm saying and of course we're gonna put the lid on and like I say we're gonna try to cook on just the coals no open flame as much as possible look at that it flamed up right when I said that that's good the winds are blowing mm. Boy, the winds really starting to pick up a little bit now but you guys get the idea this is good old-fashioned campfire cooking what we're doing is we're putting this grill this cookie cooling rack I said drying rack this cooling rack to test we want to see if this thing is going to warp bend and get all kind of out of shape because it fits directly in my backpack like it's supposed to now that we got the coals back down and the flames seem to be going what we have right here in the ziplock bag if I don't melt it over this fire right here is just some western style pork ribs uh, not really ribs 
but we're going to do this directly above the coals without wrapping them and inside hey I didn't hear no sizzle hmm I hear it on that one let's adjust this one here over the only thing we got on here is uh, some onion powder we got some parsley flakes seasoned salt black pepper and that's pretty much it you can put on them things anything you want and we're going to slow cook them over these coals right here very very slowly we got the baked beans already heated up we're going to pull them to the side for right now and keep them kind of warm but I wanted to show something that I got from work today. Uh, my boss lady gave me this right here. And actually, it was a friend of hers that gave it to her to give to me. This is the neatest little thing I've ever seen. It's a type of, it's a credit card uh, type of knife. It's called a survival life. We'll see if that right there will pick it up. I'm not sure if it will. But ladies and gentlemen, I put it in my wallet and I play with it at work and this right here is actually a knife So I'm going to use this knife and I've never seen one before anywhere on YouTube first time ever having one I'm going to use it to open up this package We're going to see what Skeeter sent me because I'm having a fit Now there's a little dial right here. You turn this little knob right here, which unlocks the card. Excuse me I'm going to turn it like that Now It's in the unlocked position and from what I understand, you just kind of pop this thing here open. The knife pops out. And somehow or another, I'm not really sure how to do this. That folds over like that, and that folds over. No, that folds over here like this, and this folds. It folds somehow or another, and you end up with a knife. Now, ain't that the neatest darn thing you've ever seen in your life? Now, it's not super strong, super sturdy, but that blade is razor sharp. I shaved paper. Uh, ad paper like newspaper at the store today so we're going to use that to do the unboxing and I mean razor sharp Skeeter I gotta see what you got man paper Skeeter if I'd known you sent me some paper I could have used it to help start the fire Well, looky there. He sent me a pair of pants. I like that. It's a, it's a pair of pants, man. A blue jeans, as a matter of fact. Man, you know. How did you know that I needed some really badly, man? This is exactly what I needed. It is, uh... <laughs> hey, Skeeter. That's only one half of a pair, man. What's going on here? Well, at least he included a belt. Hey, Skeeter, I'm waiting on the rest of the pants to show up, man. Skeeter done made one of them drawstring bags out of a pair of old, old pants right there, and they even got a stain on the back. I like that. It's well broke in. I'm almost scared to stick my hand down in there. Hey, this is one of those water filters I've been wanting. Skeeter, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it, man. I really do appreciate it. Look at there, it's the it's the squeeze water filtration system. Body washing, I mean back washing. Uh, hold on man, I gotta read the instruction here. I don't want to waste time on the video. But man, this is one of those water thing thing, doohickey things. You know, you, you filter your water out there in case you got no water to drink. That's gonna come in mighty handy. Man, that is fantastic. And look, it's even got one of them big old shot needles. Let's see what else is in the blue denim bag. That don't feel right. Oh. Whew. Plastic Ziploc bags. Man, those are really good. Going to come in handy. I guarantee you that right there. Y'all hold on. I got to flip my meat. Wow. I got a blue rubber thingy. What's that stuff? Skeeter, I don't know how in the world you wrap this thing up. Let's see. Oh, it slides out. It's an Altoids tin can. And I think these are, I'm not sure what these are. Could be rubber gloves. I, yeah, that's what they are. I ain't going to unfold them all the way. I knew that they were rubber gloves somewhere. So this must be some type of a first aid kit. I do believe it is. It's a first aid kit. It's got all kind of goodies in there. I won't go through it all right here it's got burn gel 
Good idea, Skeeter. We need that right now. Quick, stick your face over in the fire. We gotta test out this burn gel. What else we got? We got, we got something silver. An emergency blanket, an 87 inch by 59 inch. Man, I appreciate that. That's gonna come in handy on these cold, cold nights. Eh, yeah, it's not cold right now, but it'll work. My butt's cold right now. Shh. You know, I don't really know what that is right there, Coffee. but it's something that's genuine. Coffee. Coffee? Mm -hmm. It says black tea, natural apple, chai, cinnamon, no, ingredients. Look in the front. It's tea. You can't even read. Ooh, look, we got small owl toys. Cool! What's in here? Peppermint. Keep watching my meat. Ooh, it's one of those survival uh, kit thingies. You know, it's got, um, snare wire and it's got some um safety pins and uh a needle and some black looking thread stuff there not sure i don't know all the technical terms y'all sorry i'm from the south man there's all kind of goodies in this here pair of pants i'll tell you and this right here is a a wet fire don't need it right now but if it ever gets wet I'll make sure we build us a fire. Ooh, an alcohol stove. It says AS. And it's got a bunch of code and stuff on the bottom of it. This is like one of those coddle bottles. And it's got the screen and stuff in there. Y'all, I'm going to give that a try, especially when I get back to the house tonight. Mm -hmm. I love me alcohol stove, no doubt about it. Appreciate it, bud. <laughs> and we have, we have a ball. This is a genuine, a genuine, you know, I really don't know what that is, but it's a genuine, ain't it? <laughs> it's to put your key on. It slides through there to put your key on. Okay, yeah, I kind of figured that, unless you put it on your finger and go, wee. Ooh. Last but not least, we've got a knife. A lock blade. Ooh, it's an American Eagle with a flag on it. Coolio. Hey Skeeter man, I appreciate that very very much man. Brother, that, that means a lot to me. You have no idea. Just to receive something in the mail from somebody, a fellow brother or sister here on YouTube, that, that really touches, you know, another fellow brother in his heart. So, uh, be expecting something in return. You know I got to. <laughs> and let's take a look at them beans. Oh, yes, sir. They was bubbling a while ago. I got them now to where they're on simmer mode. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. The only advice I can give y'all is when you're out there cooking on a campfire, remember, low and slow. Keep your meat cool and don't overcook it. Take some time. After all, what else are you out there in the woods for? Cooking ain't no speed contest. Like I say, it ain't nothing like eating a good old thing of beans out here in the sticks. Everything's good and done. But these ain't no special beans. They're just regular old pork and beans and tomato sauce by band camp. Like I say, today, we're roughing it. You ready for your piece of meat? Mm -hmm. Tell me what you think about that. I say we ain't got no sauce. Today we roughing it. I'm gonna give you my opinion. Holy mo, that's good. Mmm. I mean, smoke, flavor, and all. Man, they wasn't lying. Everything tastes better when it's cooked outdoors. It's not tough at all. You want to run? I'm wait. You gonna wait? Mm -hmm. In the pork and beans first. Man, I should have cut that up and put them in the pork and beans. Mm. Outdoor camping. And a big old shout out to Skeeter Snell. Appreciate it, brother. I appreciate it very, very much. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. We're gonna sit here and chow down a little bit further. But we gotta get that fire there and get on back inside the house. Before it gets dark. It's done got dark. We got the moon shining back here on the back.
I'm not talking about dark, dark, dark. Dark, dark. Until next time, amateur artist Mark D. Chandler with a mouthful of pork. Bye, Am. Say bye, boy. Bye, bye. <laughs> I want to encourage y'all to go check out old Skeeter Snell. Now, I've already given him several shouts before, but I got a lot of new subscribers too now. Skeeter's a pretty good old boy. He's a real religious boy. He believes in God just like the rest of us does. And if y'all don't believe in God, and you're kind of against that, well, I'm sorry y'all, but this right here is a brother that is a brother. I mean, of the spiritualism kind. You can't really tell it in most of my videos. But believe me, I do believe in the man upstairs. And I do believe he's got a purpose for everything here on this earth. We can argue that point if you want to or not. It don't matter to me.